two people with a brain like that. <laughs> In order to give our table topics evaluator just a moment to put his thoughts together, we are going to bring up our educational slash uh, jest of the day. Please welcome with me Mike Slattery. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, and good morning, fellow Toastmaster, and most welcome guests. It's funny that we should have this theme of the day, because even before I knew this was going to happen, I came up with an educational moment, because of what happens every Wednesday morning for me at our Rotary meeting here in Riverside. Being the president of Riverside East Rotary Club, every week we have a speaker. The speakers come in and they talk about what's going on within the community or perhaps within their own business for our own information. And I'm finding more and more of these speakers that are coming in are using PowerPoint. Just as a quick question, how many of you have gone to meetings, seen PowerPoints that just don't work? The majority of us. <laughs> And the majority of the speakers that we see on Wednesday morning are the same way. So what my teaching moment is today is to give you some thoughts about should you be a speaker and you're going to do a PowerPoint, a little something to think about and perhaps do prior to speaking. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your computer works <laughs> so that when you put on the PowerPoint that the screen shows what you want to do rather than the family pictures. Second of all, make sure that any kind of a clicker or any kind of a remote that you have has batteries that power the remote and work. And if that's not enough, make sure you bring extra batteries. Because when you go to a venue where you do not know what, uh, what's going to be available for you, you need to bring those things with you. So you need to have a computer that works, you need to have extra batteries, and you also need to make sure that the venue has PowerPoint projector and that it works. Now, how do we do all this? Well, the best thing that I can suggest is get there 45 minutes early. 45, not at 10 minutes to before the meeting meets or five minutes so that everybody has settled down and you're still sitting there putting things together. That is not professional. If you get there 45 minutes ahead of time, if you have any problems, then maybe you have a cell phone, you can call someone to help fix it. Or there may be someone at the venue that knows how to fix the problem. This way, when you make your presentation, it's going to go off smoothly, so when you turn the on button on, the screen comes on, and you can begin your speech. Madam Toastman. I might mention which happened. If you have sound, be sure to bring your own speakers because you're, you're not guaranteed that the room will accommodate you. So that would be one thing I learned the hard way. <laughs> All right. 